Hey, what's up, guys? I'm currently a little bit uh, sick, but um, I found enough material and a little bit of energy as well to make this video. And this is going to be an update video on the uh, uh, DIY uh, CNC lathe. And uh, here I'm just doing a time lapse, real quick, on uh, how I drilled the holes and. Um, um, countersunk them and uh, basically pre prepared them for um, uh, for tapping later on and the holes are M4 and first I do a, a quick spot with a center drill and then a 3.3 meter millimeter drill and uh, after drilling it I countersink it with a 90 degree countersink now um, this this video is actually fairly old. I think it was from uh, August or uh, maybe uh, end of August, some, somewhere on that. <clears throat> and uh, the build has moved on quite a bit. I'm currently in the situation where I'm waiting for a few pieces to make the um, to make the spindle. And uh, I'm also uh, waiting for the um, for the bearing supports for the ball screws, since I'm making my own uh, ball screw holders. Oh, and here we have a. Um, of course, on the last hole, I managed to break off the center drill. So here I'm just showing a few um, few shots of milling. And this is a 20 millimeter end mill going at 600. Uh, sorry, 700 um, RPM. And um, the feed was, I think, 150 millimeters a minute. So relatively slow, very conservative. And um, I used the oil as much as possible. Unfortunately, I didn't have access to flood coolant, but it left a relatively good, uh, good surface quality. And uh, <clears throat> here's the the other picture. I finished drilling, tapping, and uh, countersinking the holes and uh, I know it looks very um, crummy and dirty and, and ugly but um, th this whole lathe is made from leftover parts basically so um, what I whatever I had lying around or available to me I used so some of the pieces are not as pretty as, as the other ones are and um, just I'm just going to show you a few, few, um, a few shots of of the uh, movements, and it moved very nicely. Uh, seemed very smooth and very stable, and uh, surprisingly easy to set up actually because <clears throat> I didn't feel any any binding or any sort of uh, tight spots, and uh, it seemed that all the carriages were quite nicely preloaded as well, so it should be a, a, a pretty good lathe, lathe frame at least. Alright, I think that's it for now, and uh, I just moved to a new shop, so that's set up to quite a while, and uh, now I'm ready to get started with the next step, which is making the headstock, the spindle, and the um, ball screw mounts. All right, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.